According to Japheth Njenga, the director of Tumshangileni Mtoto Center, the old premise in Kangemi was small in size and hence could only accommodate 45 children, leaving no room for the center to have more. This is a, a, what I would refer to as a paradigm shift because these children are cramped up in Kangemi in a quarter acre plot where we actually house 120 children. So having this, all this land, uh, which is six acres here in Loresho, for the underprivileged in Kenya is such a great achievement for us and it's an honor. German donors have played a vital role in providing monetary assistance. Speaking on behalf of the donors, Anja Faber stated that it is not an easy task to convince the federal German government to support them in this cause. Uh, we are looking for sponsorships for the children, which is sometimes a challenge you, because you have to convince the German population that Changilia is a really very good uh, shelter and that the children have got a, a, a great potential. So uh, we decided a long time ago that it's important for the children to receive the whole education. Alumni of the centre, Martha Wanjiko, says the education and moral upbringing she received from the centre has played a great benefit in her life. Right now I'm in SOS, Technical Training Institute. I'm doing food and beverage and when I finish I want to continue because I want to have a good job in future and come to help the, the young kids. It's not been easy because they have other needs, other responsibilities to meet but they extended their, their benevolent hands to us and we, the people who graduated, with the people who are in colleges here, we, we have a dream that one day we'll be able to join such friends and give back to our community and the larger society. Started in the year 1994 by Anwen Jugu, the centre has been serving sweet children and the less fortunate youths for the last 20 years. Currently, it is home to 274 children and youth. The Kenyan government, through the Ministry of Education, has also been able to support this project by offering free primary education to the children, going as far as even sponsoring them to join universities and tertiary education centers. Lilian Widera, GBS News.